Hey guys, check out my nerd costume. Do I look nerdy? You look pretty nerdy. I don't see the kind of girl who dresses like this to be someone people would make fun of these days. It's not like, you read? Oh, what an e Get a load of this guy. Let's yeah. beat him off. Kill him. Kill him. I'm so mad, dude. This guy reads. He reads? Like, you know those like letters where they put them together and they like- Oh wait, this isn't a book. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. Loser! Anyways, the reason why I'm dressed up like this is because 123Go made the coolest hacks to become popular at school. Perhaps not the most applicable thing for me. That being said, no matter what age you are, you always want people to like you. You always want to have a good group of friends. You don't just like grow up one day and go, I don't need anybody anymore. I'm alone. Like that just never happens. We're very social. So maybe, just maybe, I can learn a tip or two here. Maybe I can stop dressing like this turtleneck glasses head ass and I can just be the woman I was supposed to be. Here we have the biggest stupid nerd I've ever seen. So nerdy. Oh, oh, okay, so why is it nerdy to need glasses? Why? Why is it nerdy to not have perfect vision? I do not have perfect vision. Terry gave me my glasses this morning and he like tried them on and tried to make a joke and he was like, oh, that's awful. Why is that nerd? That's like, why would that be nerdy? You can't control that. I didn't choose this. Okay, nobody did. But anyways, she's throwing her clothes off, throwing her glasses off, letting her hair down. This is a video that's gonna teach you how to be cool. This is the video that's going to teach people how to like you, how to manipulate people. She's cute now, she's hot now. Oh no, this girl next to her doesn't have AirPods. She doesn't have AirPods, oh my, I'm a nerd and even I have AirPods. What is going on here? Yeah, me and her, I bet she'd wanna hang out with me as long as I got rid of my glasses. So what's the hack? The hack is oh, I can't, I can't. Why would you do that just to fit in? Then you'd have to walk around like pretending that you can hear your music even though it's just like regular headphones that you cut the cord off of. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. There has to be a better way. I think that somebody who has AirPods, they see this little silver bit on the bottom here and imagine if somebody caught you and then they like ripped your AirPod out and listened and it was like listening to a seashell by the ocean. Like I just can't see or hear anything. What a mess. I, I'm sorry, I'm, fl I'm flustered. That's ridiculous. Is there no real hack? She's hiding her old cord and walking away. That's the hack. Okay, if my kid came home from school, they mutilated their headphones just to fit in, I would be so sad. Like, why is this girl mad that she has AirPods? She's like, it's my thing, okay? When I was in grade school, I wore Roxy and I thought it was my thing. Can you imagine how cringy that is? Like, I was like, Roxy's my thing, my brand. I can't believe how humiliating I was when I was a kid. The girl who cuts her cords, she really, really wants to fit in. As you can see, she's learning how to do eyeshadow and she sees a fellow friend who really, really needs the help. She can't go to school like that. Her hair up in a comfortable bun, the people laughing at her, making fun of her, her crying with her fake glasses without lenses. I just, she doesn't even want to imagine it. She's way too good of a friend. So she's like, listen girl, I am going to help you out. This is it. We're doing it. You're gonna let that hair down. The boys don't like when your hair is in a bun, okay? The boys like when your hair is down. So wear it down! I'm gonna take some markers and some cream. Don't do it. Why is this girl cutting the tips off of everything? Hide your tips! This girl's gonna come through with scissors. She's just the tips of your hair, the tips of your nails, the tips of your hair pods, the tips of your headphones, tips of your markers. Your boyfriend's tip. Nothing's safe. Oh, they put a disclaimer. This activity is performed by actors in a controlled environment. Please use caution if you plan to replicate. Well, guess what? I do plan to replicate. Blowing the ink out of the marker, mixing it with some cream and making makeshift hair dye. You have to be kidding me! So she smears this homemade hair dye all over, puts some tin foil around it. You're gonna love this. When she takes the tin foil off, it reveals perfectly dry, not creamy. Like these are obviously extensions! You're lying to the public! I'm gonna dye my hair now. I have to. People need to like me. I'm not doing this whole marker thing. Like, I just can't. So we're gonna like do the same colors she did. Little purple, little green, because I don't wanna wait a year for it to dry. And I just wanna like look presentable. 
Don't you love that sound? Yeah! I'm getting a full makeover, Terry. I'm gonna be really popular after this, so I hope you don't get jealous because the guys are coming after this. Like, they are coming. Hey, dye my hair. What, how? Spray it. Like, what kind of pattern? Just like streaks like this girl has. Even though she's wearing extensions, I'm going all the way. The goal here is to truly try as many of these hacks as I can and see how cool I look at the end. Maybe even have a boat. We have to pick up my dad from the hospital tomorrow. I'm gonna show up with pink streaks. Great. Yeah, he's gonna be like, wow. In Wish I was staying here. <gasps> oh my gosh, you have to aim. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, that's just, it was just really cold. Bring Is that pink? My thumb's pink. Are you cool now? No, I need other colors. Is it supposed to be gobby like that? Yeah, but I don't like how you're dyeing my engagement ring. I always wanted it to be pink. It didn't. Here comes the green. Whoa. Oh my god. Really ugly green. That's hideous. What is this? Extremely flammable. Great. Perfect. Let's get it in. I just showered today. Like, look how silky my hair is and it's ruined. This is why I don't like dye my hair weird colors. Like, I always try to keep a color that can happen in nature because, like, I just feel like on me, this looks really cheap. Even when it's done, like, really well. Whoa, that's way better. Okay, do the other side again. We'll be right back. Here we are, girls. We are whipping our glasses off. What else are we doing? This girl's like, girl, change. That outfit is horrendous. Let me help you out. You need to wear the right clothes, have the right hair, not wear glasses to fit in at this school. Didn't you know that? Don't you want to fit in here? Doesn't this just sound like the kind of people that you really want to be around? She just makes her take the cardigan off and wear. Oh, makes her unbutton. Okay. Oh. Okay, that's good. This is not pretty. I feel so try hard right now. Like imagine being so comfy and feeling so try hard. Now she's going to school. Yes. Yes. Get in there. Get your boyfriend. Make your friends. Get invited to the ice cream social. That's what we're doing here today. All right, what's next? Okay, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire- I'm so sorry, like that that's toxic. Not to be cynical. I, I hate when people are cynical and I try so hard not to be, but this is a video about school hacks and he can't lift up a 16 pound kettlebell. Really unfortunate. I could have done that when I was 10. If you can't lift up a kettlebell of this size and you're a man of that size, like I think that you need to see a doctor. But the girl comes through, she lifts it up really easily because it's 16 pounds. And he goes, how am I gonna look strong? How am I gonna be popular? Popular. How am I gonna get the girl of my dreams? And so he cuts out a piece of styrofoam. He sands it. Oh, he stabs a hole out of the middle with an X-Acto knife. He spray paints them. <laughs> he spray paints them. Then he puts a hole of a stick in the middle. Then he brings him to the school gym. You wouldn't be allowed to if you showed up to the school gym with your own dumbbells. They'd be like, where did that come from? Imagine if somebody else lifted it. And also, you can tell that he's not actually lifting because he has zero pump going on. His biceps aren't doing anything. You would see strain if he was lifting something this heavy. And then she fell in love with him based on a lie. Oh my, okay. You don't want to show about that much. She's like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, take me home, take me home. You want to get out of here? Meanwhile, spaghetti arms over here isn't going to get any bigger. Hey, she caught his lie. There is justice in this world. What happens when she asks him to pass the bag of rice? He goes, oh, oh. oh you were lying to me this whole time. Okay, so Nerdy McFart here just shows up to a party. He really wants to make a name for himself among this group of people. How did he show up to this party of people who don't even know him? I don't know. But then again, when I was in high school and I threw parties, people who I didn't know showed up and I hated it, but it's just what people do for some reason. This guy, he heard about the party, he shows up. People are like, oh, get away from me. Look over there, ah, sneaking away. And he goes, I want to talk to her. I like her curly hair. And she is just so shallow, such a terrible person that she doesn't even want anything to do with him. So what does he do? What do you do in this situation? You notice that the guy with the tattoos, he's really pulling the chicks. You notice the cool kids magazine on the table. Boys magazine. Boys magazine, Terry! Oh, that's the coolest! Bro, that is the coolest magazine. If I've ever seen that's the magazine that you can set your watch out. Encased in boys magazine. 
the collector's edition of Boys Magazine. There are some temporary tattoos. This guy goes, whoa, that's sick. This other guy had tattoos. I'm gonna put these temporary tattoos absolutely everywhere. The problem with temporary tattoos is, as you can see here, I'm cool. <laughs> so I have a tattoo. It's black and gray. However, it's not natural black like a tattoo is because there are three layers of skin grown on top of it. I can always tell when I'm looking at a temporary tattoo because they're glossy, they're shiny, and they just don't look like a real tattoo. If these girls at this party actually like tattoos, they're gonna know that this guy's faking it. But he's going for it, he's testing it out, he's putting these sugar skulls everywhere, doesn't know the meaning of them. If somebody goes, hey, what does your tattoo mean? He's gonna be like, oh, it got it from my uh, grandma. And he's just gonna hope for the best. Hope that you don't meet anybody there that knows something about it. Somebody that goes, what is that, like traditional? Is that neo-traditional? Oh, it's just a tattoo, I don't know. It's called boys. <clears throat> boys tattoo. You know, from Boys Magazine. So this guy comes in with the tattoos, he fixes his hair, which he definitely could have done that before. He got rid of the glasses, he could have done that before. Oh my goodness, he's wearing a wanted shirt. Oh, that is so bad. But hey, he looks cool, and he steals the girls from that old washed up guy. He wins. This guy wishes he had a tattoo, and he's patting him on the back. I'll be right back, and when I get back, I'm gonna be so freaking cool. Radical. Ra <laughs> Do I look like somebody who doesn't read books? Did I just draw all over myself with marker that I'm not sure is permanent um, for this? Yes, I did. I also put on a toque for uh, full effect. I kind of want sleeves now, but I don't feel any cooler. This last one is the creme de la creme, okay? Nerdy boy nerd face is riding his bike to school, trying to wave to everybody. Everyone's like, get the heck out of the way. Nobody likes you. Get out of the way for the coolest girl here. She rides a motorbike that's already parked, which is very s strange. But yeah, she's taken off her helmet, having the classic, typical <sighs> moment. But you know what? She worked hard for this motorcycle, and she kind of feels bad for the nerdy guy that everybody's laughing at. So she comes up with an idea. She whispers in his ear and goes, listen, next time you have to go to school, why don't you sit in my little back seat? You'll look really, really tough there. Honestly, if this happened at my school, I feel like the mean kids would be like, this girl just totally feels bad for him and that's why she's doing this. And it would make it worse. If only people were as stupid as the idiots <laughs> and, like that are mean at this school. Oh, and they're walking in together, yeah. The intentions are good, but at the same time, she's doing it solely because she feels bad for him. And that's kind of sad. I really feel like one time somebody did something like that for me, like a sympathy move, and it kind of made me feel just as bad as everything else because it was a pity move. Like it wasn't a genuine move. And I don't see how that's a hack to make people like you. Like run into somebody who has a motorcycle who feels sorry for you. That just doesn't happen to most people. I digress. I'm not feeling too cool. I don't know. I feel like I need like more piercings. I feel like I need more boy magazine, but it was fun to try these hacks nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think of my tattoo. This one's creepy. And look how dark they are compared to like my tattoo, right? Kind of makes mine look like super rusty. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video though. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.